My name is Laana Rock the Wild, and in this episode, I finish installing and insulating the floor, and also I hear a strange animal in the woods screeching and barking, so I go and investigate. I am finishing dropping quarter inch plywood between the floor joists right here. I cover it every night with Visqueen when I'm done working. And currently I'm working every day, so I'm building this house in the evenings. And for my job, I have the pack test this morning. Woo! Pack test! I have monetized and I am making money every day. Woo! Yes, yes! I can buy bacon, I can buy eggs. Yeah! I'd like to thank all of my subscribers, and I appreciate it. I monetized. Thank you so much. Just cruising down this hill. I'm gonna keep building this house. I'll be posting more videos weekly. This is awesome. I didn't know how it all was going to work, but I love it. Thank you. I'm finishing dropping the quarter inch plywood between the floor joists, and then I screwed it down with one inch screws. I'm using a Makita saw with a battery powered three amp hours, 18 volt lithium ion. Very good saw and strong battery. Right here, I'm uh, blocking in the end of each of these sills for the floor using these 2 by 10s that are left over from uh, the floor joists. And uh, I'm cutting the 2 by 10s into 2 by 3 by about 15 inch blocks and dropping them in there. At the end, I screwed the plywood onto those blocks I dropped in. That's why I was laying on the ground, moving under the base of this. Hello, hello my great people what we got going on here is i just finished putting all of these blocks in so that it's uh, sealed better and no rodents will come in and then i screwed it down and the wind is blowing 
pretty good and I can see my breath so it's cold out today surprisingly and I have a spray foam insulation and I want to put it on all the corners and along the edges right here and right there I want to put them there and so yeah I I don't know it says you know the instructions recommends warmer weather than this for sure but I don't want to wait and I don't want to not use it either so I'm just gonna move forward and spray it on and see how it works so that I could let it sit and then I can roll the fiberglass insulation in and another thing I plan to do to make sure I don't get any rodents in my house is uh, right here I'll just put uh, I'll put down fine mesh right here middle mesh so wish me luck with the spray foam and I have a lot of energy even though it's cold I'm happy to be working out here I just feel a new pip of energy because I monetized and got subscribers and I was just about to work but I heard something I have no idea what that is There's no houses down there. I'm gonna bring my gun and take a look. What is that? Oh my gosh, maybe there's a trap down there and a wolf or a fox got caught. Something's going on. Oh my gosh. What is this? I'm actually staying on top. Oh, I see it. It looks like a fox. What is going on? Oh. Maybe something is caught in a trap. Oh, I fell through. Got my gun. I have no idea what's going on. I'm too curious. I got a trick. I am a little nervous too, though. Okay. All right. Be prepared to use the gun if I have to. Deep snow. 
I mean, is something caught in a trap? I see first tracks here, so let me follow it. Let's see, right there. I saw, I saw a big fluffy tail and a behind of a fluffy animal, <sighs> but it took off and it was moving. It wasn't caught in a trap. So I don't know. It's just barking at, barking. I don't even know why. Interesting. I also thought, is it a fox with rabies <laughs> acting weird? <sighs> well, oh, I see Chago on the tree down there. So I'm gonna have to go get that Chago later. <sighs> Good piece of Chago right there. Yeah. Climb up with the axe. Okay, back up the hill for me. Thank you for listening to a fluffy fox bark. Mate, what if it was a coyote? It had a brownish look and it was a little bit bigger than a fox. It almost could have been a wolf. Uh, let me look at these tracks again. See how big they are. It's moving right there. So it's definitely not caught. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't know animals just bark at, like, without being caught in a trap. It was kind of like screeching, too. It was weird. I thought it was caught or something, but it was just trying to own its territory, maybe get a mate, or maybe it had rabies, or maybe it wanted to scare me off. Making it up this hill, it was a, quite a ways down there I went, actually. It's easy going downhill, but hard to go uphill, even if there's somewhat of a footprint through the deep snow, it's still work, and that's what I wanted to do is run down the hill and see what was barking or screeching. It was weird. And I haven't heard it making any noise coming up this hill. I think I'm almost dehydrated too now. So... I'll spray that foam insulation down. Um, actually, once I get up the hill, I'm gonna have to go get some. Actually, I didn't even bring water. That was bad planning on my part. Because I have a gallon, but it's frozen. It froze. So, I'll spray that foam insulation down and go get. 
down the hill to get some water because I've been out here for a while anyway, working on my house and that foam insulation needs to sit before I could roll the fiberglass insulation into it. Actually, I'm not gonna spray that foam insulation in because I was just about to when that animal started barking and now I'm dehydrated and uh, it's windy and cold and I don't even think that foam insulation is gonna sit at all. I think it's just gonna freeze and oh, there it is. Yeah, so I think I should just be happy with the work I did today. Let that animal tell me what to do. And I'll just go home now and drink water and uh, wait till tomorrow because I can see my breath and everything. Yeah, it's cold out. My face is cold. That insulation is not going to sit. Even though I want to do it. Anyway. Okay, I'm ready to go. I got my gun on and I got my batteries that I always bring in at the end of the day and recharge and all my electronics and anything I don't want frozen such as the spray foam insulation I did not spray today because I feel like it's too cold. So up the hill I go to my truck to drive to get some water and food. Yeah, today it's snowing a lot, and I don't think I could spray that spray foam insulation. I kind of wanted to drive the Delta to do some work as far as picking up things I need there and doing some squirrel proofing but I'm not really sure, actually. I thought it wasn't this much snow. I thought it was less snow than this. And so, now that I walked outside, I'm feeling like, I don't know, might be safer not to drive, not to do anything on Sunday, I guess. Maybe just publish a YouTube video. I do PT every day for my job. I like to run and stretch. Currently, I'm just running on the treadmill because it's too icy out. We had a good snow, so um, yeah, I had to clean that off, and then I put the spray foam insulation on finally.
Okay, okay. This went really good. I'm glad I came out here because all that snow was gonna start melting anyway and now it's off and I wanna keep this dry. Mm. I put the spray foam insulation in and I feel like it's working. And I tipped it uh, the first part that I started and it was turning solid. Even though it's kind of cold out, it's a chemical reaction, so it's gonna happen. And uh, yeah, I just got a sip. I was almost gonna do this sip next right here, which is put this screen along the edge underneath over there on each side so that no rodents can come in but I wanted to cover it with tarp real quick because the sun is setting and I feel like this tarp will keep it warm at least for another half an hour and uh, that foam insulation will set better. And it's good just to go on home anyway. So there's a nice sunset right here. It's beautiful out, even though it's cloudy still nice and my neighbors drove by and they didn't mind that i parked my car truck up in their parking lot um, i didn't hear anything barking but uh i had music playing <clears throat> no. here i got the fiberglass rolls of 25 foot by 16 inch insulation R30 and I loaded it from the porch into the back of the truck so I could bring it, bring it to the work site. Okay, it's good to be out here. There's my bacon, I gotta get that in the freezer at work. And there's all my insulation. There's my uh, two pieces I'm bringing down, my coffee, my gun, my music, technology, my battery drills. And I'm gonna head down with the first load. And then uh, from there, I'll come back up and do a couple more loads, bring all this insulation down there. Over here, I could see that uh, upon arriving to my neighborhood, uh, my neighbor's truck is stuck in the snow over there. I offered to help, but he said his brother's coming to help him, which is good, because I've got work to do anyway. <sighs> there always has to be a coffee. I saved it, though. It's hard to video and work. Uh, sometimes, but I do it for my lovely viewers and subscribers. Don't crash too hard, please. Boom. All right. Got my stuff down here. Sometimes I just let the slid go, which you know, ain't the best plan. All right. I got to put this on time lapse and we'll go from there. Yeah, riding it in. I'm gonna leave the last couple up there in case 
I have enough already. I don't want them sitting down here getting wet. If I have enough, I'll just bring them under the porch where I'm staying. Woo! After rolling this fiberglass insulation in and cutting it with the scissors, I covered it as soon as possible. It was starting to snow. I used 23 by 32 inch CAT OSB subfloor. Thank you for watching my video please subscribe and i'll keep posting as i build this house in fairbanks alaska